Spring is in full swing, which means strawberries and other seasonal fruits are making their way into cocktails on the menus around town. Beverage manager, manager Christopher Porter of Ala is here to show us how he incorporates these seasonal ingredients into his new spring cocktails. Welcome to Great Day. Hey, thanks. Great to be here. Are you uh, always just trying to work on new <laughs> cocktails with the different yeah, ingredients? I, I try for the to season? keep that at a minimum because bartending is. is 99% oh. everything else. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, yeah. But um, you, you know, figuring out um, how to thematically make cocktails mm -hmm. is is difficult. But mm -hmm. as long as uh, you know, if you if you have enough inspiration, and yeah. there's plenty yeah. at this place, is the yeah. primary reason I came here. Oh, so that's really cool. Cool. To work here. Mm -hmm. What is the cuisine like? So the cuisine is uh, Eastern Mediterranean. Okay. okay. So it incorporates Turkish, Lebanese, mm. um, Syrian, every, everything that's along sort of that that area of of, um, of the Mediterranean, of the Med. Some Greek stuff, some Greek things in there mixed in there too. Um, a lot of flavors. Right. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of stuff that I wasn't familiar with at all. But so it's a. Uh, the are the drinks excellent. also kind of traditional to that area? Well, I mean, typically Rocky, the the this kind of the national drink of, of Turkey and that that whole area. Everyone's got their own sort of. Way to do it. Do it. So, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So I've incorporated that into yes. one of the drinks that we're using as sort of a seasonal cocktail. Okay. So you season last yeah. season was a pear and mulling spices, and now for spring we're doing strawberry mm. mint and cucumber. Cool. Um, right up my alley. Can All right. What's the it? first yeah. one? Yeah. So the first one, uh, we'll do the rocamella first. And so what I was going to ask you guys to do, if you like to muddle. Muddle. Ooh. Muddle. Mm-hmm. Yep. What, um, is, what are the greens that are in there? So, it's mint. Oh, oh. it's a different looking it, mint. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I <don't> <laughs> that mint, Christopher. It was yeah. It was it's it's convenient mint. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. So we're gonna throw put some mint and That's strawberry. Great. Okay. And uh, and a couple pieces of um, cucumber in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks nice and fresh. And then. We're gonna take the muddler. That's one thing that always attracts me to a restaurant. I know you have, you want a muddle? Sure, sure. I'll muddle. muddle. Um, I'm sure you have yeah. some, you know, there's some yes, restaurant exactly. goers that get the same drinks all the time, but I love seeing the drink menu. Like I always wanna try something mm -hmm. unique to that restaurant. So that's one of the things that's unique on, to muddle. a lot. Is that, <laughs> I'm muddling, is that a, right? <laughs> is that muddling? That's, that's muddling. Okay. That's really bad. You muddled through. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly. There we go. Oh, there he's go. got the cucumber. Yeah, well, yeah. Crunch the cucumber. cucumber. Well, yeah. yeah, you gotta crush this cucumber. So Jeez. It's okay. So Okay, so we got mint, up. cucumber, and strawberry. Okay. Mint, cucumber, strawberry, and then to that we are going to add Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. Much, much better. better job. <laughs> 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 to that we're gonna add a couple ounces of Rocky. This is Rocky. So this that is, is the liquor. This is, is the, the liquor. Which oh, is an anisette. Rocky. Okay. So like sambuca or yes, mm -hmm. it's very licorice. Hmm. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, it has that black nice. licorice. Right. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, but I'm making this by hand here. But um, in the restaurant, we we infuse this with strawberry for like 36 uh, hours. Oh wow. So okay. So really it's flavorful. So it's pink when it's when it's finished yeah. and it's ready to go. So it's, this is not going to be quite pink, but this is something you can do at home. Okay. If you had an old bottle of sambuca laying around yeah. from like hmm. an old Christmas party okay. or something. Never know um, what to use Sambuca for anyway. So there you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so now we got that muddled up. We're going to put it in a, cool. put it oh, very in a nice. shaker. And we're going to add some lemon juice. It's everything's oh, fresh. Yeah. It's really nice. A nice just addition to. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you the know, seeds uh, don't get out. Well, nice. we'll just strain it. We'll there you it. go. We'll strain it. Yeah. 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 At home. We'll still drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Seeds or no seeds, I so it's still your <laughs> So you guys are in du Dupont Circle. Dupont okay. Circle, directly across the street from the 19th Street exit. Okay. Okay. Nice. This, the southern. This is kind of the southern. Do you do exit. brunches? Is it mostly lunch and dinner? Uh, we do brunches. We have a great bottomless uh, mimosa Bloody Mary brunch. Oh, perfect. Nice. Okay. And on Saturdays and Sundays, it. yes. And um, we'll let ice. you finish that because we yes. got to okay. run.